Choo choo choo. I gotta tell you, I uh, <laughs> I got to have myself an incredible day here in the Maroon Bell Wilderness area. Uh, as you can see behind me, you know, those are the Maroon Bells. I was able to snag the Traverse today as well as Pyramid Peak right beforehand. So it was quite the lineup. I was able to get out there early, snag Pyramid early in the morning, then uh, go up the valley and snag South Maroon, Traverse on over to North Maroon, down and out. So just a, yeah, it's a terrific day, super fun. Um, Welcome to Van Vittles. If you haven't been here before, my name is Michael Lynchide, and each weekend I like to bring you into the van and show you what I like to chef up after a great day outside. And today was better than a great day outside. It was above and beyond, that's for sure. Um, I feel so good. I'm not really sure why. Typically I'm, I'm hurting after those kinds of uh, outings. So I'm really happy and feeling good. And what's great about van life is I'm gonna be doing this episode by kind of traveling as I go through the state. So, you know, I'm filming here, but tonight where we'll be doing the recipe, it's not gonna be here. So um, I'm really excited to get you guys into the van, but I can tell you for sure, Aspen is just down the road and uh, I definitely need a brew. We'll pick up some brews there as well for today's, uh, for this week's Brew of the Week. And uh, let's go ahead, get into the van and get this one started. made that dough at the trailhead of where I had my outing today and uh, that way I could let it rise while I went into Aspen and was driving out here. I don't really know exactly where what road I'm on but uh, I do know Independence Pass is like right there but I do have a nice uh, river right there and I'm just in the trees chilling so um, we're gonna go ahead and get into the van get this dough on its last prep and then fry it up so let's get to it. Mighty fine rise, if I say so myself. something missing and that is this week's brew of the week and that is going to be coming from the aspen brewing company and uh this is the silver city ale it's kind of like a really light sour this is a perfect drink for me because after a really big day you know my stomach is usually somewhat twisted and so i can't handle like a really nice ipa or anything like that so this is perfect for me uh, the folks down there are absolutely terrific. Uh, just a great atmosphere, great vibe all around. And uh, I think this will be perfect as we fry up our Turkish bread. So let's get back into the van, keep it rolling, and uh, see how this turns out. Before we dig into these delicious Turkish bread pieces, um, which I'm loving by the way, because they really resemble kind of this like pita pocket. So 
I'm excited because then I can like stuff it with whatever it is and I think tonight maybe some eggs or something but uh two to three minutes each side so you know four to six minutes in total depending on what you know you think is right just went ahead and kind of topped it a little olive oil and parsley as in the uh, direction so let's go ahead dig into these things and see if we can't get a little pita pocket out of it all right let's dig in Turkish bread so I'm just gonna see if I can't uh... oh definitely cool but for the sake of uh... You know, display and all that. So go ahead and kind of rip one open here. Perfect. Oh yeah. I think I'm gonna uh, have to whip up some eggs like right now. That's awesome. Now, some of the recipes that I did see, it would pop up as one bubble, and it would turn out really cool. So. Clearly, I gotta get I. Clearly, I gotta get on that level, but this is great. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get some eggs going. You go ahead, like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So, Turkish bread. Who knew? This is great. I'll be perfecting this one, most definitely. See you guys later.